Namaskaram. The year 2020 will leave uh, an indelible mark upon the lives of this entire generation. As a unique and challenging year, unfortunately nearly two million people have lost their lives and so many people have lost their dear ones. Businesses have been lost, livelihoods have been lost, many types of challenges have come to us. But it is in these moments of challenge that a human being has an opportunity to rise, to come out with the best that all of us have. Our intelligence, our competence, our love and compassion for each other, every one of these things must find the best expression right now because there is a challenging situation that doesn't spare anyone, the challenge is for everyone. When the situations happen in ways that you had not imagined, it becomes absolutely necessary that we must be in a state of balance and well-being. Taking care of physical well-being is a challenge right now, wherever you go, you may fall sick, but now, people are talking about a mental pandemic. I beseech every one of you that you must ensure you must be in the best possible mental state. I can tell you this much, the virus is not affecting your mental state. The virus is capable of only attacking your physical well-being. Do not multiply it with mental imbalances. Ensure that you are not the problem in this situation. There is a serious problem in front of us as a generation of people. Every one of us have to ensure that we are not that problem. This much we must all take care that we don't become a problem. If you sink into mental despair, this is what will happen to us. Despair is not the way forward. Our dedication to create what we care for, what matters for every other life around us, this is all that matters. Let year 2021 be a year of dedication, of courage, of determination to create what truly matters to every life around us. May the best be with you. My blessings and best wishes for the coming year.